Okay, so this would be part two of my pixel tree frame. Uh, in an earlier video, I showed you how I made the pixel frame, and now I'm showing you how I actually set it up. As you can see here, <clears throat> I put the end up putting the pixels on a strip here. This is a plastic pipe uh, pipe strap that I ordered online, and uh, I, what I did is I went through and drilled holes out and pushed the uh, the pixels through. You can see them here. Now I didn't make any adjustments to what I got from Ray. They were just, just you know the straight pixels, the same spacing that I that I got. One of the things I found, and I'll show you here on this one here, is that when I got a little rain, the pixels started messing up on me, and I think what was happening, I think that some of the rain was getting down in this seam in here, although it really shouldn't have, but I think it was. So on this one here, I tried to see what happened if I would do this. So I think next year, and you see what happens, the, um, the cables are not up and down so if there's any water it might hopefully it would drip before it actually went into the pixel so I think next year when I set this up I'm gonna do it like that all the way through instead of like this now yes from here you can see it but back in there from the audience you know no one's gonna be able to see it so what as I did is I drilled it three inches from here okay the pixels are two and a half inches apart okay and I went three inches apart here and to try to give it the taper of a tree, I went all the way up to an inch and a half up there. Okay, so, and the reason for the two and a half inches is because it's 50 pixels per strip and, you know, 10 feet tall, so that came out to two and a half inches. Um, so I tried to, you know, create a tree look. Now, I still have room if I want to make more. I can, I can add four, you know, two or three more strands on this side, two or three more strands on that side. Um... I could try to spread it out at the bottom and make it look more of a taper, uh, but I was trying to display images, and uh, even even a couple of them I had some videos, so I actually think this w way worked out because it brought the pixels closer together. Um, one of the things I did have to do because uh, it, there was kind of bending, lip, bending a little bit since it is PVC, I stuck this piece in here just to give it a little bit of support. Uh, it is uh, just plain PVC and there's nothing inside of it. Now in my other video you'll see that inside of this, these PVC, I actually put conduit in there, uh, conduit in it to make it nice and rigid so the piece of 10 foot conduit goes from there all the way to there. There's a piece of conduit that goes across here. There's a piece of conduit that goes across there. And there's a piece of conduit that goes across the very top, which is just to give it all some rigidness. And then, of course, there's a piece of conduit that goes up and down from here. So that made it, you know, pretty sturdy and pretty strain, uh, uh, pretty strong. Pretty strong. Um, other than that, I did, because I, I'm using, uh, my E682 is inside of here. I put it and I separated it from the power supply because I found the power supply was getting very hot. So I put it in here and then I put the two power supplies and I used two to split the, split the load up. I put the two power supplies inside here. Uh, what I did is at the bottom of them I used just regular um, 110 plugs, good, you know, good gauge wire and I made it so that I could plug the controllers into here and keep you know make the two boxes separated. I put a uh, vent on mine because when they're all on they get pretty hot so I put went out and got this dryer vent cut a hole in it and put it on here uh, silicone it to keep moisture from out coming in and then also uh, up there as well to keep moisture from going out and then it has a little screen to keep critters out I think it's mostly meant for mice and stuff but someone suggested that I might want to put a mesh in there to stop blood, bugs from crawling inside and I'll probably do that for next year so I hung those both I hung those both on the back of the frame I built this frame just to elevate it up because in front of my yard I have a bunch of yard signs and I needed to get this up off the ground so you could see it from the street and then uh, just you know they're all, both both power supplies are running off one plug when all 1200 RGBs are on in white, it pulls 10 amps of power, AC power. Uh, of course, we don't always have them all on on, um, on full blast. But so basically, I split it in half and I put half of the, the 12 of the strands, uh, 12 of the strands are on one half of the leg of the uh, E682. The other 12 are on the other half, and in one half of the E682 is controlled by one power supply. 
and the other one's controlled by the other power supply. Um, so uh, that's pretty much about it. I had a lot of problems with these pixels this year, a lot of bad ones. You can see where I had tape marked where I thought ones were going bad and I had to cut a bunch of pixels out because they were just plain bad. You can see here where I cut them out and spliced them and I've cut over a hundred of them out to get this thing to work right you know throughout the season. Okay, well, I just wanted to share what I what the finished product looked like and I thank you for watching.